Well, I stopped your horse and uh, rolled down the window. Got myself a nice piece of wood. I don't think uh, I should run this through my planer because it's end grain and this shape over here is going to give me trouble. So let's try sanding the shit out of it. Don't worry, I'll drop the volume on the video. It won't be too loud. Behold, a nice piece of a dead tree that we're going to use to our advantage. Don't worry, trees get even with us and sometimes find a dead body and go, Behold, a dead human being. We're going to use it for nutrients. So, uh, yeah, I learned that uh, you shouldn't put too much pressure. Um, the less pressure I put and let the, let the sander sand and instead of me trying to fight it, I removed more material and I did a nicer job. And uh, as all the stuff went away, the sander was able to go nice and smooth. So, yeah, um, I know you weren't learning shit, but this is, uh, you know, I'm in Canada. This is like Justin uh, Woodworking Reset. You should learn nothing and be happy. I put a ton of oil and uh, I left it here for couple hours soaked it all up let's do this side look how quick this stuff starts to crack I don't know if you can see that there one two three four five six seven Well, let's put some of this uh, Waco Butcher Block. This is from Home Depot. I'm not promoting it. I'm not uh, recommending it. I don't know the first thing about it. That's the only thing I can get that was food safe, so I'm giving it a shot. Let's put a ton of this because it's the first time. And I want it to soak really nicely and then even after I do this in a couple of days, I'm gonna give it a proper. You know, you're probably thinking I'm putting too much, but this is what I did with the other side, and it soaked it all up. Ah, wow, check it out. She soaked up a lot of oil. I'm not sure if this is the way it's supposed to be finished, but see all these ripples here? They kind of look like saw marks. And if you look at it on the other side, it's the exact same thing. But you can see the ripples continue here on the side. So it's bugging me because there was a name for that, which is part of this here. And uh, the guy at the mill told me, and I can't remember. So if you know, uh, leave it in the comments. But uh, yeah, I don't know much about this. I never done it before. But uh, you know, my grandma used to have this uh, theory when, when she cooked. If she put too much salt, and you go, "Hey, you put too much salt," she she'll say, "That's the way I like it." If you didn't put enough salt, and you go, "Hey, you forgot to put salt," and she'll say, "That's the way I like it." So. Anyways, I'm going to let this uh, sit here for a few days and then maybe give it a light coat and buff it up a bit. And uh, I think Kim is going to love it. Anyways, thanks for being here. Don't forget to don't subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Ciao.